Hey everybody, it is November 6, 2023. This is Brett here with Summit Automotive and I'm gonna be going over all of our used inventory that we just got in over the weekend and some of the stuff from last week because we were just too busy at the end of the month and it was raining and cold and crappy out uh, to get a lot walk for last week. Anyways, all these vehicles that I'm gonna be showing you are gonna be in our description below. So click those and there'll be links to our website so you can look at all the pictures. Once the pictures are up, we're gonna be working hard to get those up today. And we have, I've got an auto trader meeting in just a little bit, so I'm gonna be getting into that, but I'm gonna go through all the vehicles here. Hopefully this will be a quick video. Give us a like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. I don't have a salesman with me today, but we'll get those guys back in the videos hopefully next week. I hope everybody's October went well. We did pretty well. We were number one in the state for new cars uh, for Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. So that was really exciting. That was the first time we've ever gotten number one in the state for new cars. So that was really exciting. And we did pretty good on the used side. We almost hit our goal. Um, things just slow down a little bit at the end of the month, but that happens in the car business and we'll get them this month for sure. Once you see all the inventory we just got in, you'll understand why. All right, let's check it out here. I've got a 2013 Ford F-250 Super Cab XLT. This has a 6.2 liter V8 gas engine. Blue jeans metallic is the color on this one. It has some very nice BF Goodrich all-terrain all -terrain tires. This is actually a trade-in, and believe it or not, this thing came in this clean. Can you believe that? Amazing how nice and clean that this truck is. I didn't see any major imperfections on it. It has 76,000 miles, so that'll be a very nice piece for us. So definitely check that one out if you're looking for a super cab, uh, super duty vehicle. And here I've got a 2021 Ford F-350 crew cab, short box, single rear wheel. This is a Lariat Ultimate. Star metallic is the color. And this is a very nice vehicle. It has the FX4 package. It, being a Lariat Ultimate, it has the navigation system, the pan panoramic sunroof, and in really nice shape. Didn't see any major problems on that one. It's got the Power Stroke diesel in it, and this one has 18,000 miles on it. This is a 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn Level 1 um, with the Ram box on it very nice clean condition it's got the 20 inch wheels it's not a sport or anything just a big horn level one and this one has 34,000 miles there is a dent right there and there which will get taken care of we've got an amazing dent guy that'll take those out has the clearance lights up top and this one has 30, <clears throat> excuse me 34,000 miles on it flame reds the color here is a very nice trade. We took this in on trade on a Ford Transit 350 all-wheel drive. I didn't even get a video up of it because it came in last week on Monday and we sold it by Thursday. And that's how fast stuff moves here. It's actually, I've got a bunch of Grand Cherokees that are already sold that went through the entire process last week uh, very quickly. But this is a 2019 Toyota Sienna SE all-wheel drive. It has the quad seating, the third row seats, very nice and clean, and it is silver in color. 54,000 miles, I would imagine that's silver sky metallic. This is going to be a very popular vehicle. This is a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan, 35th anniversary SXT. It's got really nice tires on it. Obviously the stow and go seating, and in really nice condition considering it has 95,000 miles on it. And that'll be at that price point where somebody will just absolutely have to buy it. I'm putting bets on this will be sold by the weekend. This here is a 2018 Lariat Ultimate crew cab long box single rear wheel. Obviously it has the nav and the pano FX4. This is almost identical to the 2021 we got in, except that this is a long box and this one has 49,000 miles. Check out these wheels. I've never seen these wheels on a Super Duty truck. I think they look really good. Let me know what you think of those wheels in the comments below. I wanna get your opinion. I think they look good. If I had a Super Duty truck, I would put those on my truck for sure. But really good looking ride, really clean inside and out. Speaking of clean, this is a 2022 Ram 2500 
Laramie Level B Night Edition with only 12,000 miles on it. It has the Cummins diesel, very nice condition, has the spray and bed liner. It's got the leather seats, the big radio, Harman Kardon sound, and like I said, only 12,000 miles on that. Billet Silver is the color on that truck, very nice and clean. And more clean vehicles, this is a 2018 Ford F-350 Crew Cab Long Box Dually. Only thing I noticed on this one, it's got a couple little dings in the front fender, which once again, our dent guy, no problem for him. This is a Lariat, and this one has 49,000, I'm sorry, this is a 19 F-350 uh, Lariat with 50,000 miles on it very very clean got a couple little scuffs and dents and stuff but um, we're gonna make that really nice it's got good tires on it michelins and really sharp vehicle this is a 2014 f450 that's actually all through our process it is priced at 51,999. has 49,000 miles for a 2014. Really nice condition. I have to get a video of this through all the rain and everything last week. I just was not able to get my video on it. So we'll get it cleaned up and uh, ready for videos, hopefully today, if not today, tomorrow. This here is a trade-in uh, right here. This is a 2016 Toyota Corolla. I think we're gonna keep this. The body and everything is in really nice condition. We're gonna to have to definitely do some detailing on the interior. And this is just the unfortunate part of being in the used car world is sometimes you get seats that are dirty like that. We're gonna to have to extract all those seats, extract the center console, get all those stains out, extract the carpeting, make it smell good, get all the dents out of it. But only 73,000 miles on this vehicle and it is an LE package, really good looking bluish gray color as well. Right here, I have a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. This thing is fully loaded. It's got the nav, the Alpine sound, the LED lights, the tow package, and very nice and clean inside and out. The only thing I saw, the grill's got a couple little scratches on it. Uh, we might have to get a new grill for it but other than that very nice condition soft top and this one has 104,000 miles on it and it's a six-speed manual it's got leather seats and very very nice and clean on the inside and another wrangler 2018 sahara this is an automatic jk so in 2018 you could get the jk or the new body style the jl basically some classic body styles that they made. This one's in really nice condition. It has 57,000 miles on it. It's kind of the uh, base level Sahara, so it just has the cloth seats, uh, but it does have the factory navigation system. So that's a very nice vehicle. I saw one little ding in the hood that we're gonna have to take care of, but we'll get that, no problem. And this is a trade-in. This is a 2005 Chevrolet Corvette. It's an automatic. This color is called Daytona Sunset Pearl and it is a power top, soft top convertible and it's the automatic. This one has, believe it or not, 85,000 miles on it. Looks brand new and really a good looking ride. This is a brand new Ram that uh, we had upfitted with a Rockport um, box and utility sides on it. That's a pretty cool vehicle. Uh, we just took pictures of that today. Now here are some of the vehicles that came in last week that I didn't get to. This is a 2019 Chevrolet 2500 double cab long box work truck. This is the six liter V8 gas engine and this one only has 16,000 miles on it. Um, unfortunately, the front bumper has got a couple little dings on it, but it is a work truck. If you need a work truck, you're not really looking for aesthetics. I'm not sure if we're gonna fix that bumper or not. Anyways, really nice ride, very clean inside. And all we're gonna have to do is wash that one and picture it once it's done. Right here, I've got a 2017 GMC 1500 Sierra 1500 Denali. This one has 103,000 miles on it. Once again, I'm not sure if we're gonna keep this one or not. 
the air ride suspension is throwing a message and it kind of sits low so I'm not sure if those airbags are blown or not but 103,000 miles pretty clean all the way around I didn't see any dents on it and hopefully we can fix that suspension and it'll be a sellable piece for us this is a 2023 Kia Forte this is a GT package has only 12,000 miles this is one we got in last week it's already through our shop and it is priced at $23,999, so almost a brand new car for $24,000. It's got nav, moon, heated seats, and in really nice condition with only 12,000 miles. So that is a steal right there. Over here, I've got a, we just did videos on this Durango on Friday. I also did videos on this Yukon on Friday, so go check those out on our YouTube channel. They should be one of the latest videos on there. Right here is a 2022 Ford Escape front wheel drive. This is the S package, so it's the entry level package. It has 10,000 miles on it, magnetic. Actually, this is carbonized gray metallic and absolutely perfect all the way around. That'll be a very quick ride for somebody that needs a good runner vehicle. Uh, we've already did that one. We already did this one. This is next for my guy, Jose, to buff. This one already was through. This is a 2020 F250. It's an XL STX FX4. It's got the big 7.3, 430 horsepower Godzilla engine in it. That thing is absolutely perfect. And it's already through our shop, priced and ready to go. This is a 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel Crew Cab Level 2. And this one has 70,000 miles on it. That was a trade-in from last week and really sharp truck. This is a 2022 Ram 3500 Laramie Level B. This also came in last week. This was a purchase for us. It's got the night edition. It's also got some big wheels and tires on it. And this one is also has the Ison heavy duty transmission and the high output Cummins diesel. And this one has 18,000 miles on it. Super, super clean. This is one of the Grand Cherokees we took in trade at the end of the month last week and this is a 2019 limited with 76,000 miles on it it's got the net uh, moonroof on it very nice condition and once again 76,000 miles that one will go fast as soon as it's priced right here i've got kind of a rare piece for us this is a 2022 infinity qx80 and this thing has 39,000 miles. This is the sensory package. So if you don't know anything about these Infiniti QX80s, the sensory package gives you the adaptive suspension. So it helps with cornering. And uh, you can actually see, if you can see in there, that those shocks have tubes running to them. So it's an adaptive suspension system on those that's why the sensory package is the top of the line this thing is very clean and as soon as we get that through the shop i'm sure it'll be sold quickly this might be one of the lowest mileage 2012 f450s around this is a lariat crew cab long box dually polished aluminum wheels i'm assuming those are the original tires look at all the tread left on them that's because this truck only has 12,000, I'm sorry, 14,000 miles on it. And I mean, just a time capsule of a vehicle. I'm probably gonna polish it. We're gonna dye that rear lower valence to make that look very nice. And this truck will look like new once it's all done. And very, very nice ride here. I didn't see any dents or dings on it. It comes with a nice drop in bed liner. And yeah, just a really, really nice clean truck. Speaking of clean vehicles, this is a 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sahara 4xE. High velocity yellow is the color. This one has 19,000 miles on it. So this was the plug-in hybrid. And this one is 100% one owner, clean Carfax, clean auto check. Uh, this was owned by the president's wife. She drove it for a little over a year and really nice and clean all the way around. That's gonna be a great piece for us. I desperately want a Wrangler and I think my next Wrangler is gonna be a four by E. Maybe not that color. I like, I like that color, don't get me wrong, but maybe I don't think I'm gonna do that one. 
This one is a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Like I said, we got a lot of these in. This one's already through our shop and ready to go. I'm surprised it's not sold already. This is an 80th anniversary limited package, 23,000 miles. It's fully loaded, nav, adaptive cruise control, panel roof, heated seats, uh, just a really sweet ride. Very clean all the way around. And that one's got 83,000 miles on it and it's priced at $29,999. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the walk around today. It was a little bit extensive just because of all the vehicles that we didn't get to last week, but it's actually nice today. It's probably about 65 degrees, a little windy, but uh, thank you so much for checking out the video and I hope everybody's November has started off strong. We, got a, we had a really good Saturday and um, hoping to keep it rolling this week, especially with all this fresh inventory, it's gonna be really good. And remember to check out all the vehicles at the website right there. All these vehicles are also in the description below, so click those. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. Let's get November and uh, show it who's boss.